Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will be showing how you can get any game files with Ninja Ripper from Rocket League. For this you will need Ninja Ripper as well as the Noasis Viewer. The Noasis Viewer is the main tool to read the files Ninja Ripper extracts as well as converts the files into usable FBX or OBJ files. After download you should have two folders like I have here. First we're gonna use Ninja Ripper. We open the folder, we open the related bit folder, in my case it's 64 bit. Then we open Ninja Ripper as admin. We are going to the target application, we are clicking this button, we are locating to our Rocket League folder which is on Steam or on Epic. At this point I, I want to mention that I am not sure if Ninja Ripper works with Epic Games. Locate to your Rocket League folder which is usually on C, Steam, Steam apps or in my case it's the Steam library, Steam apps, come on, Rocket League binaries, Win64 and then choose the Rocket League application. After this we go to our output directory, this is where the extracted files will appear after we press the hotkey in the game. We're gonna create a new folder on the desktop. Now we are heading to the right side of the tool and selecting the injection which is the D3, D11 wrapper. Last but not least we are going into the settings to check our hotkeys. In my case I am choosing A as well as holding the control button to extract all kind of stuff like meshes as well as textures. Clicking OK and then click on run. Now Rocket League should open. Now we choose the preferred car, in my case it's the Golf, as well as the preferred wheels. We are going into settings, video and try to set everything on high quality, especially the texture quality is important. After this we remember our hotkey which was Ctrl A for extracting everything. We pressing Ctrl A, the game should freeze for a couple of seconds or even a minute or two. After that we can close the game again. We are heading to our extracted folder. Ninja Ripper created several folders in this, as well as one big folder with all the files in. We are going to search for the textures we want. Golf 2 textures, which are these ones. Um, and yeah, that's basically it on the texture side. Copying this, Ctrl C, we are creating a new folder. I'm at Golf 2, pasting all the textures right here. All textures have the DDS format, so in order to see or open it you will need a plugin from Photoshop or a GIMP or you can use Paint.net or any software that can open DDS textures. After we've done that, we're going to our other folder from the Noasis viewer and we are launching the Noasis viewer. Once we are in Oasis, we are searching for this folder right here. So in my case, that's simple. We're going to desktop, we're going to extract it, the Ninja Ripper folder. And here are all the files you can see right here. We can preview them by double clicking. Some are kind of empty meshes or they don't get displayed in the correct way. In order to search for the right files like the golf body or the chassis, I recommend to sort them by size. So we're gonna see textures first. We can also preview textures in the noise here. However, we want to get the 3D meshes. So we're starting the biggest one, which is this is some vegetation from the map. And as it we don't need it at the moment, this is the chassis. This is the chassis of the golf, something we need and want to extract or convert to an FBX or OBJ, however you prefer. We're going to select this, right click on it, click on export, and then we see the source file and then we see the, nest, the destination file, the output and uh, make sure to rename the file to find it. In my case I will be naming it golf2 underline chassis. Now you, you can choose the format, in my case I will be choosing FBX or you can also choose OBJ or whatever format you like. I click export. Now it's taking some time and the export is complete. Close this window again and then we're looking for the body. The body should not be that far away. You might be coming along a lot of copies of 
each mesh because it's rendered uh, multiple times. Golf 2 body export export complete. Another useful function of the Noasis viewer is the batch process, which allows you to convert multiple meshes at once. You don't have to export each of those meshes by one. So I click on tools, click on batch process, then you see the input extension which is rip these files and output the extension which is by default obj. You can also change it to fbx or whatever format you're using. Then you click on folder batch and then on export and it starts to export all of the files after we have this and look for .fbx files inside our folder which are only these three files right here. Copy it, go back one, click on our golf, paste it right here. So we have all the golf stuff here as well as the wheels. That's basically everything we want to use in order to see the golf 2 engine texture. We're gonna need to open it with a program of your choice. In my case it's paint.net. Now we can take a look what colors we got right here. And as you can see there's many colors. Obviously this texture works with a zero opacity. Display everything correctly in Blender. We gotta set all colors to 255 opacity. We're doing this via plugin. Alpha to 255. And that's it. That's the engine. Save it. Save it as a DDS if you want. So now we got our files right here. And then we are heading into Blender. We are deleting all the stuff we see. We're clicking on file import fbx then we're heading to our folder and then we select all three both the golf body the golf two chassis as well as the signature wheels and we uncheck custom normals because it could be buggy with some lightning and we don't want it import the fbx and here we got our golf golf 2 into blender basically everything we wanted. One last important thing, if you got to use Ninja Ripper at any time, Ninja Ripper places a file into the Rocket League folder Rocket League can't really deal with or got performance issues if it remains at this place. I recommend to go locate to your Rocket League folder, which is my guess the library called Rocket League, binaries, Win64, and then we're seeing lots of DLLs here as well as the Rocket League application. But we are looking for this D3, D11 DLL, and we are hitting right mouse button and clicking on delete. And you should be fine playing Rocket League again without any lags, stutter, freezes, or whatever. So, this is it for today's tutorial. I hope I could help you. See you again.